Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy. if you're new. I am a reseller. I sell vintage toys and do videos on dolls, dollhouses, toys, and all that kind of great stuff. So today's video, I am going to do a dollhouse, a vintage um, fold-out dollhouse that I thought would be a good video. And I may start doing more dollhouse videos because I know I have um, Barbie and other doll videos and who they are. And, uh, and I do have some more, I'm making a list to start doing that again uh, for you guys. But I thought this would be a cool way to get to know some of the structures because sometimes they can be hard to find. I actually have one structure that I want to do um, that took me a long time to figure out what it was. I just kind of held on to it. Anyway, let's get into it. Side note, yep, it's eBay open week. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really excited about it. It's already kind of failed on me a little bit. And yeah, it's not that great. It, lack of a better word, sucks. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, like I said, we are doing a dollhouse video today, and today's dollhouse is little kittle and this is actually the little kittle uh true story dollhouse with the camera there we go it was more of a it's like a vinyl fold out kind of like barbie did all right guys sorry about that i don't know what happened with the audio in the video it was kind of messed up so i am here doing a voiceover So again, this is the uh, Little Kittle three-story dollhouse. It is vinyl, um, just like other Barbie type structures from the 60s. Um, it folds out, it does have a lock at the top, and it just folds out to uh, almost like an apartment-like uh, setting, but it is a three-story house. And I'm just going to pull out all the furniture and we'll put it all back so you can see what it looks like. Now you'll see that this one does have a couple cracks in it, if you can see them in the video. Um, that is kind of normal with some of these vinyl structures. Um, they do succumb to the weather conditions wherever they are, uh, wherever they are stored. So if it's too hot or too cold, it can affect the vinyl and um, sometimes it will crack or tear. Now these pieces that I am putting in are original Little Kittle pieces. They are Little Kittle um, furniture. Uh, again, Little Kittle is made by Mattel. These are all just plastic snap pieces, uh, pieces that you would get and you would just snap them together um, from, from being flat, uh, some of them. But uh, just tiny little cute furniture pieces. Now they do, most of the pieces do have imprints on the rear. Um, they are imprinted with Mattel incorporated on the bottom. So you'll definitely know that they are part of uh, Mattel toys uh, or the Little Kill family. I think there were maybe one or uh, um, maybe two or three pieces that were not original to this set. I think it's the that pink and white stove and um, another piece I can't remember uh, that were not original, but everything else is original to the set um, and to the Little Kittle family.
Okay, now that we're all finished, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the um, furnished house. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that quick video of the Little Kiddos Dollhouse. I actually am going to, they are on my um, doll highlight of the week um, list that I'm adding to so I can start doing dolls again. I know I haven't done them before, but this is a Little Kittle and I'm sure I've had them in some of my sales. Some of them can go for quite a bit of money, so this is a, a Scoodiddle Blue because she actually has a hole in her back and I'll do a video and show you um, a couple of them and what the you know what the hole in the back is for and that kind of stuff um, if I can I'll try to get you some um, current prices that this dollhouse is going for on eBay right now and I'll put the screenshots up here this one has some cracks in it so I won't be able to ask as much uh, as some of these are going for but it gives you an idea of how valuable this thing can be all right I will see you in the next one and thanks for watching.